Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Uncharted 3 Remastered on Brutal Difficulty. This is my guide and walkthrough. We're now on chapter 22 of 22. It is entitled The Dreamers of the Day. So we've got one guy to take care of at first using blind fire. Then you've really got to be quick to use blind fire again on the guy uh, with the red turbine as he comes uh, gunning for you down the stairs. We've got three targets across the way. The heavy that you will see marching down the stairs should arrive after or around the time you've dispatched the second of the three, three snipers across the way. In fact, he, his spawn might, might be triggered by killing that guy. So um, having grenades is quite helpful here. If you don't have grenades, you can um, use the g and blind fire on him. Uh, don't go through the archway because you may have seen that um, there is a, a guy up there in a fixed position and he won't fire on you unless you um, you push him too hard. By that I mean it going through this archway up here. So you want to be really careful and, and just nail him before he has a chance to do anything to you. And then um, his position is where we're going to go to. Now there's going to be one person oh, right over here. Uh, in fact it's uh, it's either yeah, somebody should be coming down the ladder, this guy over here. So quickly execute him. Come on up here. You should already have gotten a checkpoint by now. Um, and then uh, we're going to be grabbing the T-Bolt sniper rifle and using it to um, hopefully one-shot this heavy over here. Feels nice, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about it. Uh, you're just going to be picking people off from up here. It's quite easy. I've been thinking about it. Um, you know, I've been saying this is chapter X of Y for Uncharted 1. Same for Uncharted 2 and for Uncharted 3, and uh, we've, you know, that's a lot of chapters. That's over a third, that's over 60 chapters, you know, maybe closer to 70, and I'm going to have some po post-reflections for you guys. Um, but anyway, once you've killed all but the last guy, feel free to charge him if you, um, if you feel like it. Now, the important thing about this part is that you don't want to take shelter. You just want to do a beeline right into this room very quickly, try to take cover. Sully is going to take care of these guys for you. So um, just be careful because if you don't charge into that room and try to take cover, you might get killed. Um, one of the ways you can get killed is um, sometimes the cover is kind of clunky, so it might not put you in cover. I've got mowed down there several times, so I thought to myself, well, I'd best just run into this room, you know, because I know that Sully is going to take care of them. So as long as I get into the room, I'm, I'm relatively safe and you're going to be safe too. Better to be safe than to be sorry, eh? But um, yeah, I'm going to have some post-reflections of the Brutal Trilogy at the end of this video. I'm going to show you some statistics that um, some people find interesting. And you can see how many times I died and or reset from a checkpoint. Um, okay, so we're looking pretty good. We've got the Tau Sniper. We've got the M9 at more or less full capacity. Now, uh, this room over here... There's going to be two enemies. Uh, it's the it's the room with the snake statue. Um, there's two enemies down here, and um, from an editing perspective, I um, I was really trying to make sure that I didn't die over here because if you die, they put you downstairs. So it would would have made for kind of a uh, one of those situations where I would have had to do um, a, a crossfade for sure because doing a match cut for that would be. Um, very difficult to do quite difficult in fact but you probably don't care about that because you're you're here because you care about winning d brutal difficulty and that's all I've ever been here to help you guys do just clear brutal difficulty no BS just get you through the game um, you know without any cheats without uh, any deceptions without any subterfuge just uh, a straightforward guide on brutal you know I'm a straight shooter as they say um, and and now we're going to be going down through this gear room. Now, we, the fight that's coming up after this is rather difficult, and the checkpoint is a little uncertain to me at this moment in time because um, I haven't uh, haven't tried to ascertain where it is quite yet. So um, just make sure that uh, you want to have guns with long range potential. Now, the the two that are available over here in that category include the um, well not really include but they 
comprise the um, the Tau Sniper as well as the G Mall. I don't really care for the G Mall anymore, so I like the M9. Uh, the former has a scope on it, if if that's good for you. Um, but I have already got the Tau Sniper, and that has a scope on it, so that's when I'm going to be using it. Right now, I'm using the uh, the Para just as an expendable tool, so that I can take one of these guys down. And then once he's down, I can charge the last enemy to preserve and uphold the light motif of the guide. In fact, here's the last guy. I'm going to do my SWAT turn over here for myself in a little bit. Awesome. The gears did not interfere. Hey, Sully, come on, man. Get your ass out of the way. Um, so in, in the meantime, right about over here, this is where I'm going to do my editing. So make sure you haven't got a checkpoint yet. So make sure that you go back and, and do all of your looting. And then once you have everything set for yourself and push up and then you're going to get yourself to the checkpoint and that's going to save exactly the loadout that you want. So um, from there we're going to go down the stairs and then take on this next fight which is a really hard fight. And what do you know it when you come down here you're going to find out that this heavy's winding his damned horn and he's, um, he's ready to kill you. You know this game is always ready to kill you isn't it but I've got to tell you guys um, got a couple topics to discuss real quick. Um, this is a challenging fight over here, and you're not going to be getting a checkpoint until you um, interact with a door on top of the staircase coming up. Pick up the sass and use it to uh, to get some good spread damage over here. But I do I really need to tell you this at this point? If you're here, you know you're you're gonna make it. Trust me. But I've got the same. It it kills me. You know the the, the brutal trophy came up at the end of this project. For Uncharted 3, Uncharted 3 Brutal, um, and I'm not sure why it didn't come up last time, but it definitely came up this time. And you guys, it just absolutely kills me to fin finish this project again in, in the most bittersweet, endearing way. I just I have the same feelings from before when the when the Brutal trilogy was over. It, it's something, it's something really special, and uh, I'm going to speak more about it in a moment, but. Uh, you know, it might not be in literally a moment, but I've got, I've got to tell you that it's um, it's just heart wrenching to finish the trilogy because I I just you don't want it to end, you don't want it to end, and you want to you want it to keep going on forever. You know, it's it's just so true. It's so true. It it means it you know it means that much to me. But anyway. <laughs> I found out why, um, why you know this whole topic I've been talking about, about chapter select for Uncharted 3? How I couldn't select different chapters on Brutal Difficulty? Well, it turns out that I could, but um, the, menu, the menu layout is different from Uncharted 1 and 2. On Uncharted 1 and 2, um, you could literally like select Brutal from the, um, from the chapter select, and for some reason, they have they did not carry over the consistency from the first two games so that on on this version um, you can select um, up to crushing I believe if you've already beat crushing um, but for some bizarre reason and and I even tried to select um, the chapters on brutal after I had already cleared brutal got my hundred percent completion on my save profile and already got the brutal trophy you'll see the brutal trophy come up at the end um, but so how, how do you reselect chapters that you want to play on brutal well all you have to do is select it on crushing start the chapter go into the menu and then put it on brutal and then um, if you want to exit out and restart it on brutal all you then have to do is just go to the first choice on top where it says continue so it's uh, the menu clarity is absolutely reprehensible on this third game I have no idea why it's so bad on the first two games it's clear as day what you know how it works but on this third game it's it's a complete mystery but that is how to do it guys I finally figured it out earlier today and you know why I figured it out because I want to do some of these chapters over and, and um, perfect them a little bit more and make it so that uh, they're better for you guys because you know, like like I've been like I just said, I don't want it to be over. I want to I want to do a couple more of the levels again, because I want this to keep going on forever. 
And that's got to be the pinnacle of irony, don't you think? Because there's probably so many people who are doing sections just like this on Brutal who in their minds probably hold this game in utter repulsion and contempt and are just on their metaphorical hands and knees begging, begging for Brutal to be over. And here I am wanting it to never end. But you got to believe me, guys. On certain sections, like the, the Chapter 7 chapter on um, uh, Uncharted 1, and you know all the horrific parts that we've experienced on brutal together i've wanted this to to just be promptly over um, because this is um this part is pretty exasperating it's a minor miracle to be able to hit the guys with uh with all of the camera shake over here um this this is really frustrating because uh the whole place is coming to a crashing uh conclusion over here and um just like I said, just to hit these guys is is such a feat, because they will put you down almost instantaneously, but you don't have to do too much to get your checkpoint. And um, now, you know, um, be careful though. <laughs> be careful when you come down because there's going to be a couple guys ambushing you at the end. How typical though, right? But. Um, so at the, I just want to prepare you guys for at the end. Um, I'm going to be collecting my thoughts as much as I can near the end of the video. Now, um, actually, this was a, a kind of a blessing over here to have that bitch run up and, and give me a pretty much a free kill over here. Um, okay, so we've taken out everybody. I'm going to go back here and, and see if I can maybe grab the M9 because we're going to be doing some close range combat now. So what you want to do is very carefully come up here and put yourself in a cover. May, maybe throw a grenade for yourself in. Um, I'm at uh, a debatable piece of cover. You know, th this could have easily gone, gone one way or the other over here. Probably the best thing to do would be to run forward all the way and take shelter behind that circular area over there. But, um, okay, so for the, remember I promised you guys that I would have some statistics for you at the end of the videos? Well, I've, I'm going to be fulfilling that promise. Um, I'm not going to be putting any bloopers in or any outtakes or anything like that because I, I don't think they ha have any place in a guide. Um, I, I know they are funny, but I, I do think that they should be standalone videos and um, my channel doesn't feature those. So I apologize about that, but I am going to be fulfilling my promise about, um, letting you guys know about the all of the deaths and the restarts that have been um going on behind the scenes because you've never seen me die on on brutal difficulty but trust me there have been thousands of <laughs> thousands of deaths so this is one of the final checkpoint areas over here um pretty simple area um just two guys down here and um I've got the uh, I've got all the tallies for you, so I, I just want to make sure that you guys are familiar with how to do this part up here because, um, for me personally, I um, I I got one guy with a grenade launcher across the canyon. He's probably going to be there for you too. And then every time that I came up here, I would have uh, one guy as I went up these gears. There's going to be a guy in a white shirt up here. He's running up the ladder to the left. There's a grenade launcher guy over here, and there's a guy over there that um, is in want of getting pushed off so fervently, so that's what, exactly what I did for him. Uh, this guy never never did this before. He never stayed up here, so um, so what you want to be careful of is, is running up that ladder because there's going to be a guy throwing a grenade up there like the little bitch that he is, and then he generally will um, just stand right above the ladder. Now, now we've got the light motifs of all light motifs, guys. Charging a last, last, let's just say it. We're gonna charge your last fuck. You know we're gonna go out and grant. Please don't kill yourself. Let me kill you. <laughs> Thank you. Don't kill yourself. I'm gonna hope to stagger this guy, and we're gonna do a final rush, a final tackle, and a final kill. I was hoping that I would maybe, uh, maybe kick him or bat him with my, um, with my, with my gun, but I ended up doing that uh, grenade grenade takedown right there so at least we charged a last fuck and um, we're gonna be doing the boss fight coming up over here with uh, with the Marlowe boss fight pretty simple boss fight um, d can't hold a candle to the previous game but um, what I was gonna say a moment ago is that um, 
I don't I don't uh, I don't mind at all telling you exactly how many times that I died you know I have uh, no issue with that I just want to warn you that uh, of the accuracy of it there's probably uh, several thousand that um, or were me just setting the controller down and the game keeps uh, killing me you know while I go off and do things but I, I know that the controller does turn off every five minutes I have it set that way so anyway uh, Marlo is going to be uh, a pretty vicious attacker while you um, while you have him in front of you um, and it's basically the same thing um, he's got some fast fast attacks that are difficult to react to at first but basically if in doubt parry just press triangle to counter attack um, now he does have see he's got this slash anytime there's a tussle like you guys are like any locked arms or thing anything like this that's triangle this is circle tapping circle um, and basically it's just you know you're continuing to punch him and, and anytime he he swings at you like right there that was a uh, triangle and it does a, a, a repost kick like that that's triangle to take that off and um, since there are no prompts I know it can be difficult but trust me a few minutes with this guy you'll be able to get get the job done it's not very difficult all this is is triangle any physical struggle like that it's just tapping circle punching him and like I said when in doubt counter and it's it's not that difficult and it's and you know even though it's a two hit kill it's uh, you know it's it's pretty forgiving on a difficulty that's not forgiving um, but anyway guys it was my my um, my just absolute great pleasure to be here and to walk you through brutal difficulty if you have arrived at this point and you've got the previous two trophies and you're en route to getting the last trophy over here give yourself a pat on the back because you definitely deserved it you stuck in there when other people would not you maybe um, didn't give up maybe you gave up it's okay if you gave up because you get a checkpoint here by the way so it's pretty much a sealed victory I gave up I didn't think that I had it within me to do what was required of me and I think that, that that's a good learning experience because how many other times in different scenarios do you doubt whether you can do something and it, so often I know that can sound like it can sound like BS because you can just say well you know you're never gonna learn from your mistakes but it, at least to acknowledge that you know that you might have the ability to do something if if you look hard enough inside yourself and if you if you just keep coming back that's all you've got to do just keep coming back keep keep working at it because you're not going to get worse working at it but it's been my, my my just my esteemed pleasure to take you through this and you owe it to yourself to congratulate yourself if you've done this because seeing that trophy like that it's it's so it's so rewarding and you know it's like I said it, it just kills me that it's over it killed me before and it's killing me again you want to know why too it's because it's been such a part of your life for so long but there's the trophy earned on January 31st uh, 2018 at 822 a.m. it's a gold trophy and uh, now I'm going to be going through some of the statistics uh, now these are not cumulative I thought they were but for uncharted one uh, the amount of checkpoints failed or restarted right here was five thousand five thousand two hundred and three um, so then uh, going to uncharted 2 the statistics for um, the checkpoints failed or restarted uh, three thousand five hundred and five and then for uncharted 3 we'll quickly switch to this um, this bonus statistic over here find out what we have here checkpoints failed or restarted 3980 so damn near 4000 restarts for that do you want to know how many that is guys in totality and i and i and i do caution against that there is some inaccuracy here because it doesn't mean exactly this but that is 12688 
uh, fails or checkpoint restarts. And basically what a checkpoint restart means to me is that um, it's, a, it's a death. Because what would happen is every time I died, I wouldn't wait for the bleed out screen. I would just go to the menu real quick because it's quicker just to reset the checkpoint rather than wait for the bleed out screen. So on average, that is um, 4,220, or excuse me, 4,229 deaths uh, per game. Now you've got to figure, you know, accounting for some inaccuracy. That's what like 4,000. 4,000 deaths and restarts per game, but uh, <laughs> can you imagine that? But it was worth it. It was it was worth it. It's been, it's such an investment, you know. Um, you, you you can't know the feeling of 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 making something and creating it. Well, I know you probably can, but I'm talking about a certain type of a project like this, where it's not just one project. It's it's a trilogy. It's you know, it's it's over sixty videos, and it's um, you know it's with you day and day, and I, it's just indescribable. And like I said, it just kills me, and I I I I hate that it's over, but I love that I was able to do it. And like I said, it's it's all my pleasure to help you. That's you know that's. That's what I wanted to do from the outset. I wanted to increase the quality. I wanted to show you guys the best strategies that I could possibly um, uh, produce and uh, and pass along to you. So the trilogy is complete again, guys um, and gals. I know there's some gals playing. Um, don't want to uh, disclude anybody, but um, that is uh, that is the sum of everything. That is everything laid out uh you know as, as bare as it can be and i will see you guys in the future thank you very much for all of your support and i i hope that you know as always that you enjoyed the project and that it was able to um get you the trophies that you sought after or just to get you through the difficulty that you didn't think you can do so take care guys and gals and i will see you on my next project Best to you and best regards. This is Big Benedict, and I'm signing out. Take care.